friend of the game is Scott. We're playing Hand of Fate 2. I am undecided yet on uh, which uh, challenge we are to do next. So this is a famine. We gotta destroy undead. Devil, never mind. We know what that is. It's garbage. Poop, poop, poop. The tower. A sorceress is besieged by Empire soldiers. Rumor has it she holds knowledge significant to the Emperor. Ascend the sorceress's tower, guarded by levels of traps and strange magic. I hope that's actually levels of traps. The, the, the dungeon levels where there are traps? I would mind that. I would not mind that at all. And the star. I get a lot of encounters. Mages are opening the gates of the underworld in the dark corners of the Empire. Close the portals before it's too late. I think we're gonna go for temperance. We're gonna try out this famine. So we'll probably need food. Let's just start with our supplies. You know, get some food. Uh, get some gold. Uh, does it say who are fighting anybody? Undead? Oh, no. I don't want to make me a whole deck. Undead, undead. Is corrupted the same as undead? No. It doesn't have to be a sword either, I suppose. Smith and a fine one. Of all uh, your companions, I yeah, respect let's, let's her the most. Stuff with her. Is that a brimstone card? I don't know, let's bring it. Let's try out, see what St. Tala's Day is. Uh, we need food. I also want to bring back the pickpocket. Spend gold, gain food, trade food. Yeah, let's bring that. That was good. Anything else we might want? I mean, we don't want everything to be food. How about in by the sea? That sounds like a good time. And then, undead stuff. Yeah, corrupted is different than undead. You cannot hit L1 to go, to loop over to the left. Sacrificial blades are cool. I don't care about that. Draining rebirth. Sure, sure. And what else does it say? It just says destroy the source of the undead, so uh let's let's bring Archer's Bane. Let's bring that bad boy. Let's bring the 
gold shield. Tisha's charm. That's gonna be helpful if we run out of food. Oh, but Reaper's arrow. Ah, we need food for this one. We need food. Uh, Will of the Emperor. Armor of Gluttony. Yes, anything that'll give us food. I mean, I don't know if we'll necessarily be in a situation where we have 20 plus food, but we still uh, receive plus one food for every gold to gain card. works against its own people, yet none of it matters. There will be no oh, uprising right. as long as they are fed. Yet, take away their bread, and even the most peaceful begin to consider the songs of revolt. Desperate times. Oh, I think I'm too far. I went past the level of uh, the bottle flip, the water bottle flip. It's just too low in that. The innkeeper joins you at your table. I have some information. The Reaper was paid up front by a halfling known as Garrick Drowkin. The price was apparently an entire cartload of gold. He made the contract and then left the city. I'm glad I didn't do this before. I wonder if it would have been different if I hadn't completed I hope it would have been. I think this game's good enough. You know, if it unlocks both the missions, it should know. It should know. It should know. I believe it. If, 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 if uh, I had done the uh, Reaper challenge, the death, I believe it was. Uh, he made the contract in the left city. Where may Garrick be found? He was last seen on the road to Bridgemore Village, a farming village in the outer provinces. The whole area is up in arms with this famine going on. Uh, what about Garrick? A mercenary. He was employed by the Imperial Army for several years until they wiped out the Halfling Kingdoms. Since then, he works for the highest bidder. If you want my advice, the Innkeeper offers, you should leave the city. Forget this life of death and glory. Find peace in whatever far-off land you can, before your enemies catch up with you. Who knows what calamity will befall when they find out you're still alive. Depart for Bridgemore Village! I am departing for Bridgemore Village! Zero villagers lost. A storm and troubles in the north, so it begins. You enter a tavern as a storm lights up the night sky. The bar is packed with fellow travelers seeking respite from the weather. As you make yourself comfortable in a relatively dry corner, a band of northern raiders kicks in the doors. Prepare your souls for cleansing, godless heathens! You ready, weapon? Do I ready, my weapon? I'm going heavy. Oh, I forgot to bring the blacksmith. Poop turds. I saw my helmet while I was looking at my inventory. I was like, the blacksmith, that's what I wanted. The blacksmith, it's always the black smith. <laughs> Alright, I forget what you do, not Malachis. Apparently, don't give me a shit, garbage. retreat into the storm. The innkeeper serves a round of drinks in your honor. Here! An old soldier left this with me before announcing his adventuring for good. 
I want you to have it. Yes! Yes! Oh, I don't have enough fame. Yes! Oh, I don't have the armor of gluttony, which means I don't get a, a food. Of course, Thomas in a world Hiller. that has lost all of its wonder, violence, muscle, and brute strength still remain. So like the usurper in all its ways. You are cautiously approached on the trail by a group of farmers. Greetings, friend. One them begins. One them begins. Are you in need of supplies? I am. The group explains that an evil ogre has stockpiled rations in his cave not far away. They intend to fight the creature and retrieve the goods to feed their families. Would you be willing to tag along for an equal share of the food? Yeah, sure. I got three toys. You set out at once for the ogre's lair. Along the way, they explain exactly what sort of beast is waiting for. The mayor went to visit his prize-winning horse last week and found nothing in the stall but a torn saddle. Your companion exclaims, not a drop of blood. The beast must have picked it up and then taken it home to eat. I ignore you. The monster's lair is just up ahead. One of the farmers comments some time later. Is it now? A deep voice inquires as the monster in question strolls into view. Ogre. The speechless farmers hastily retreat as the ogre stops it. My name is Thomas, and this is my domain. What business have you here? Return the stolen food. I have stolen no goods from these humans. What food I possess, I earn with my own hands in this forest. Your desperation does not give you the right to take what is rightfully mine. The farmers manage to find their voices, throwing all manner of accusations at Thomas, who merely shakes his head in response. Believe what you will, warrior, but know that I will defend my home. He lifts his weapon purposely, saying, I may be more reasonable than most of my kin, but thought without action is pointless after all. Fight him! Thomas prepares to fight, saying you must do what you think is right, of course. You gonna get wrecked, Thomas! You about to be wrecked. Incoming loud uh, squinching noise. Crunching. Innocent or not, the time for warriors has passed. The ogre's thick hide reduces damage by four, making low damage weapons less effective. Good thing I have a heavy damage weapon. Beware, clubs. Club deals devastating damage. Evade or perish. It's okay, I got three toil on my side. Ouch. Okay, I perished. Sit now. Let's get wrecked, Thomas. Yo, where's my three of toil at? They ain't doing garbage. Where are you at, boys? Get over here. Oh. Yo, it said the club is dangerous. Let's say it's full of good tonight. L1. There you go, you get it. Get it, girl. Oh. Oh no, he killed my combo. I was trying to R2, but he killed my combo. Oh. Oh. Swing your club into the ground. There you go. I have to evade the first of the attacks. Oh no, you're almost dead. Rip, Thomas the friendly ogre. Yeah, I need food. It's a famine, dog. We famine it up in here. Oh, I got a trophy. Thomas Bane. Thomas is Bane. Rip, Thomas the friendly ogre. You and the farmers raid Thomas supplies. Five food. Aww. Sorry, Thomas. I 
that I this had to kill you to This particular get you card is below you, even as it represents a quick means to easy profit. If the Lord got wind you were short on your taxes, it would be trouble, says Zuri. Mind you, I do like this rug. Better you hand that over than all your stock. What do you say? I have not. And that's a rare mass piece from the Eastern Belt. Steel. Can I just do three? Ooh, what you got? What do you do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, I don't want to remove a card. For the token, you need to be friendly with them. Oh, well, I failed that. Five gold. Steal more. No, I got this still. I got this. I got this. I got this. Steal more. No, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I don't got this. As you draw your hand from the bag, the reeve turns. How dare you, he says, drawing a dagger from his robe and thrusting in your direction. You clutch your wounded hand, dropping the spoils. Well, I don't think Merrick's going to be happy with me. Of course, he's nowhere to be found. Lowly scum. Hello, General Store. Oh, I think I got to. Ooh, what's Harvest Blade, though? It's food! It's food! Uh, perform a power after combat, receive plus one food if you complete three finishers. Perform a powerful strike that causes 300% damage on a single target when activated. Gain plus one food if the target is defeated. What? This is 100. While ineffective in combat, it is very valuable. Oh, what's better? Well, I don't have the fame to uh, wear that. I'm gonna go with the harvest blade. I'm gonna go with the harvest blade. Go with the harvest blade. Power is ultimately the measure of Sounds any empire. Nifty. This is a symbol of that power. Did I buy the sacrificial blades, or did I just happen to? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Seek, but do not starve. An uneasy silence fills the air on a moon of the night, prompting you to continue your journey without stopping if you can. Uh, oh, oh, ignoring the dire threat on the edge of your mind, you make your camp and spend a restless, though uneventful night under the stars. The people need food, uh -oh. and they turn to you because their leaders have failed them. The land Sur itself has failed them. You are surrounded by hungry armed villagers. A few push forward to confront you while many more hang back out of harm's way. Please! My children are starving! Every food you donate will feed two angry villagers. Well, then I shall give two food. You hand out some food, a few villagers grab what they can and run off. Having dealt with those villages, who are the most aggressive or desperate, the remaining mob reluctantly allows you to leave. Did I save them? I did not. Alright, journey forward. Although you keep one hand on your weapon for the entire journey, nothing reveals itself as a threat. Waterfall of youth is gonna give me some food. Oh, yeah, dude, remove it. Oh, a duplicate! Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do with five cards. Oh, this is terrible. Nailed it! You were surprised and relieved to see the sisters greet you at the door, both full-grown adults. Yvonne greets you with open arms as Yvette sulks in the corner. Thank you for your assistance the other day. As promised, here is the citrine vial. I've already filled it from the waterfall. Potion of you! At the beginning of each new map, draw one life gain card. This card cannot be discarded. Not sure I'd even want to discard it. Well, that's nifty. Yvonne insists you stay for some pie before you go. Fresh from the oven. 
I was gonna say thank you. I better get some food. I got three food for a fail. I better get some food for a success. Even if I already did get an item. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops screeching. For centuries I have helped mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. But not once has one helped me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We had the potion of youth that she wanted? Oh, my God. Give her the potion of youth, Doug. It said I can't discard it, but apparently I can. The game lied to me. She pours the entire contents of the vial into her mouth. Doom! The maiden! <laughs> Within moments, the potion takes effect. The old woman transforms into a youthful maiden. I thank you for your generosity, mortal. Now I may continue helping your kind for centuries more. Please, take my offering. Elven Ring. Oh, At the beginning of every day. The mountain. days came and went. The world Draw has left them Lord. behind. What? That's insane. Uh. Give me supplies. Two food. Five food. Overall. The well fed are unpredictable. The hungry always seek a meal yeah. through force if necessary. I have no food. Uh, maybe I should just journey forward. This doesn't seem like the type of challenge I, I, I need to necessarily explore. Everything. Receive 25 max health and no platinum cards are equipped. This doesn't seem like I can do it. I don't need to explore everything. Uh, you sell a sacrificial blades, not, not useful. Give me all the food you got. Oh, oh, there's a famine. I get it. Well, that's okay. What if I camp? Is that still going to be like the same thing? Airy, not, not Ava. Airy. Airy is what I call her because nothing is real. Oh, there's no food in the camp. They thought they through this challenge you. for more than This whole land is starving, and you are left with only hard choices. You wake one night to the sound of rustling. With a start, you realize there are thieving hands, pilfering your supplies. Hey, the wretched! Stop! You lunch for the closest thief. Game. Is that one food? Oh, I can get one food or two food, or fail a lot. Red Manic, thank you for following. Uh. Oh, nailed it. I'm, uh, I've been playing Hand of Fate 2 for a little while now. I'm, I think I'm towards the end. Uh, you catch a thief with his hand in your supplies and quickly snatch the bounty back. Ha ha! You easily hoist your attacker off their feet. They're no common bandage. You are face to face with a dirty, sickly child. Please, he stammers. They can't feed us at home. We have to take what we can get just to survive. I lose one food. Bless you, mercenary, for your good heart. He exclaims and runs off happily with his prize. After losing three precision gambits with a failure or a huge failure, draw two equipment cards, then discard this kind. Well, that's depressing. Yo, we just gotta go. We just gotta go, dog. We just gotta go. Option, move directly to the level exit after any encounter where you gained a life paint card. Ooh. Oh. Uh, inspect. 
entrance. I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of precision gambits on this challenge anyway. Even the greatest of oh, all of you. us are our father's children, for better or worse. I haven't missed this card yet. While taking refuge in the Nag's Head Tavern, a popular drinking establishment in the impromptu fistfight arena, you find a man resting his head in a pool of ale, a look of utter gloom fixed on his face. Anders! Ari rushes forward and pulls him into a proper sitting position. He blinks twice, then slumps back into his ale. Though much more disheveled since you last saw him, this is indeed Anders, apprentice blacksmith and friend to Ari. Ari looks concerned as An Anders lies in his sad ale puddle. We've got to cheer him up. I mean, I want to offer him some gold, because that's probably going to do something, but... You gotta tickle him. The grizzled tavern patrons watch with a morbid curiosity as the two of you begin to tickle Anders. Oh, and I just said there's not going to be any the precision. The pendulum is ever changing, and the challenges it presents change too. Damn it all! <laughs> Anders remains blank-faced. Yo, I got this! 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 You got this, you got this, you got this. Poorly Maybe done. I should have kept that thing. I don't know. You I, must harness your will and find the quiet like I'm, uh, inside you. Losing anything for failing. I should have kept the blessing. Oh, I had it. I didn't because I didn't get it, but I had it. We're going to tickle. I'm determined. Mainly because I want to see what happens. Tickling a grown man. In a, in a bar. I'm just... This. You have to go. Oh. It like... It like... It was like no for a second, but then it was like, eh, yeah, we'll give it to him. His face twists into a frown, turns red, and then, unable to take it any longer, he bursts into laughter. Ari slaps him on the back, sending him flying. That's it, lad! I knew you had it in you! With Anders in better spirits, you decide to relocate to a cleaner table. Anders still looks glum, but at least he isn't lying in a pool of ale anymore. Uh, what happened to your forge? He promptly bursts into tears. My forge was shattered by that blasted ogre. I hope you killed it. His eyes suddenly turned red with anger. Anders still looks glum. Uh, why were you in an ale puddle? Oh, uh, well, he, uh, forge. Cheer up, Anders. Ari returns from the bar with a basket of fried am almond bread. Ammon. Almond bread. Whatever it is that you need help with, I'm sure me and old hero here can help you. Can you repair my forge? The apprentice blacksmith looks doubtful. It'll need terravane ore, among other things. Not to mention it was your late father who built it, so I have no idea how to even begin rebuilding. Yes. Your companion nods, her blue eyes bright and earnest. Of course, easy as pie. Anders looks a little more hopeful. You really are nothing like your father. Ari frowns and shakes her head and grins. Thank the gods for that! So, twisting your path to this table, now I begin to understand stop. why you cannot help but aid the hapless. Says Ari, propping her friend back up in his chair, is to find a mechanical oddity. Heck yeah, mechanical oddity. She smells death upon you. Death promised but not delivered. Death, whose time has been delayed. The sky is unnaturally dark as you approach the ruined graveyard. A cloaked figure stands amid the crumbling tombstone. Despite your stealthy approach, it turns to watch your arrival. Zero villagers lost. Is that... Would I have had to kill villagers to uh, lose... Quote, unquote, lose them? Cool, cool. The living have no place here, she rasps. The breath leaving her body with some effort. Though you will make fine source material for another minion. She raises her staff and undead rise from the ground. No, it's a horde of skulls! I've got some stuff. Is there jobs tomorrow? Last time I checked, there's nothing good going. Oh my god. 
goodness, there's nine available jobs. <laughs> Music. The Death Mage, Countess Athanasia. This Death Mage turns the dead into tools of chaos and slaughter. Use Bash to break through her gruesome armor. I will, thank you. Alright, fall you skeletons and die, that's a great thanks. Yeah, Death Mage, you too, thanks. I've got the outfits and the shield to help right now, so you die. Easy peasy. all that remains of the necromancer as you inspect the contents of the crypts. There you find letters were written and signed with the Emperor's seal, each one calling for your death. What have you done to earn the Emperor's wrath? As if in answer, the voice of the Hermit rings in your ears. It is not what you have done, but what you are yet to do. A powerful force presses against you, and every move takes you closer to the end of the game. You have few friends now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. This is what we seek to eradicate. For killing the necrophants. Creeping answer. horrors that stretch that across our really land. That was really bad of the challenge. Probably because I, uh... It's my uh, instinct to want to look at every card and uh, realize it's probably a challenge where that's not the best idea. <laughs> the wretched. Sorry. Thomas the Ogre, I will befriend you. I apologize. For not. Mystery chest for killing the necromancer. Thunair's talons. Thorn shell. Ring of defense. For avoiding any unnecessary villager deaths. Colbjorn's traps. Nido. For restoring the maiden to her true form. The maiden. Probably could have guessed that. For promising to fix Anders Forge. A mechanical oddity. A mechanical oddity. Yeah, I'm still working on uh what to use the points for. Because I mean there, there's there's not a whole lot of uh, stuff you can do. So that was Temperance. Not too bad of a challenge. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more videos similar to this one, please subscribe as well. Once again, thank you all for watching. This is Game Scott saying, peace out. But if you're on Twitch, I'm here for 